Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Okay, so the Scholar of the First Sin content just came out today. And again, I should probably reiterate, this is a free patch. And there's a whole lot to talk about. For now, we're just going to jump into New Game Plus, and I'll talk about the patch and whatever the hell is going on with the next-gen version, as best as I understand it, whilst we're playing, because otherwise I'll be standing here for 10 minutes just rambling and not doing anything. Anyway, very quickly, first of all, I want to speak to the Emerald Herald and see if she's got any new dialogue that maybe hints at where this new NPC might be, because I have no idea. Hello? Bearer of the curse, until hope. Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope. It happens to that blue knight at the base, although... Wow, well, that was a jam bust. Okay. Anyway, with our souls, we should be able to get 25 endurance and 15 vitality. There we go. Now, again, I do want to start leveling Faith now so that we can use Hexes in New Game Plus. We will do that, but for now we need more encumbrance because we can barely equip anything, which is kind of goddamn ridiculous. Okay, it is time. Begin your second journey. My god. I'm so excited. Now, a couple of things change very quickly in New Game Plus if the game ever... There we go. If you look around, there should be a dude right over there. That red fella... He's called a falconer. They shoot falcons at you. This is the only part of the game that they are in. I guess it's just kind of FromSoft's way of saying, look, you're a new game plus now. There's going to be some random shit popping out. And yeah, these dudes shouldn't be... Oh, hey, oh, Bonnie, how's it going? You, you almost poked me there. These dudes shouldn't be a problem for us because, again, we're pretty powerful and we have the Red Iron Twin Blade of Death. I don't know why this one doesn't have a falcon. Maybe he threw it at me and I didn't realize, but I don't think he did. And I think they always come back anyway. That's kind of the point of a falcon. I have no idea. I guess they were just out of them when he, you know, was in the queue. I don't know why you'd queue up for a falcon, but I can only assume that's what they did. Now, there should be two more enemies around here somewhere. Yes! Two red nutsack demons. It's weird to me that they would choose nutsack demons because there's none around here, but I guess it don't really matter. Anyway, so, let me try and explain what's going on with the new content as best as I can without spoiling anything for you. And I can't really do that anyway because I've avoided spoilers. And let me try and also explain what's going on with the new, uh, the next-gen re-release. It's very confusing. Basically, as I understand it. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna skip over this, because we've seen it before, and we can't even remake our character. What was that noise during the cutscene? It sounded like a skeleton rattling. That was weird. Maybe that's always there? I have no bloody idea. Anyway, so in this patch, they've added a new NPC called the Scholar of the First Sin. And I believe it's like, he's supposed to be a guide, kind of like Fremt from Dark Souls 1, I guess. And the thing is, I don't know where the hell he's going to be. Hopefully we don't miss him by accident, but I guess they're probably going to make it hard to do so? I don't know, I guess we'll check around Majula and just make sure we're not missing him there. Anyway, so they've added that NPC. And they've also tweaked a bunch of things, you know, balancing and whatnot. And they've also amended item descriptions. So, in other words, they've added more depth to some of the item descriptions to expand the lore. I think that's about all of the major changes in this. There might be some other stuff that I don't really know about that's quite important. We shall see. Speaking of which, I do want to check out Chandra's soul. Don't use it. The fragments of the Abyss of Untold Origin nourish their beings by the sides of would-be monarchs. Perhaps they were simply ordeals on the road to kingship. One day, the flames will fade and only darkness will remain. Unless, of course, an heir arrives. Now, I didn't pay a huge amount of attention to Nishandra's soul in the original game. Or, you know, before the patch. But I think that was different. I think it was very similar, but I think they've changed the wording a little tiny bit. I don't really know. But yeah, it basically hinted at the fact that she's a Shard of Menace, but that was kind of what it did originally. But yeah, there is one item description that I know for a fact they've changed quite significantly, and we should hopefully get time to see that in this video, but we'll see how things go. But uh, yeah, I, other than that, I really don't know what the hell they've changed. So we're just going to... We'll kill the boss, we'll check out the soul description, and I'll try and remember if it's different or not. And you guys can always point it out to me if I can't remember. Now, we have 11 shards, because I missed one somewhere like a complete moron. So we're just going to grab this one so we can get maxed out on Estus, because again, I do believe 12 is the maximum. And plus 5 with the bone dust. Bone dust is ready! Sorry. Plus 5 with the bone dust should also be the maximum on that. But we're already at plus 5, which is real freaking handy. Right, so like this puppy, and go speak to the Emerald Herald. I'm trying to look around to see if I can find this guy. I don't know where the hell he is. Are you the next monarch? Okay, I'm gonna sit here and listen to this dialogue 
But if it's the same, I'll cut it out. Because again, I don't want to skip anything just in case, but we already heard this in the blind run, we heard this in the new game run. We don't need to hear this a third time. So yeah, if there's something new, I'll leave it in the video, but I get a feeling there probably isn't. But I'm gonna sit here, just in case. Okay, screw it, I listened to all of her dialogue. I ran all the way around Majula, checked every single corner of this place to make sure the dude ain't just sitting here like la la la. No, he ain't around here, and if he is, I have no bloody idea how to find him, so. I can only assume he's probably gonna pop up after an important boss fight or something, maybe the last giants, maybe one of the old ones, I don't really know. Anyway, screw it, we're just gonna carry on for now. But yeah, if I do miss him somehow, then I can always go onto a different character and go record the dialogue that we missed. But yeah, I, I'm just hoping we don't, because that will really freaking suck. Okay, now, on New Game Plus, there should be five human effigies in here. On regular game, there is one, so this is one of those areas where if you need human effigies, I recommend you just go to the bonfire we're about to find, acidic it, and you can run over and grab these. And because there's no boss in this section, that means you don't have to go kill the boss every single time so that you can acidic the bonfire. Real handy. Now, what New Game Plus does, quite subtly, is it does add extra enemies. But usually it's very difficult to even realize that they've done that. Like, there might be a couple more hollows around here, but this is one of the sections that you don't, they don't change very much. Like I say, there will be a couple more hollows, but that's really about it. I mean, when we get to the Cardinal Tower, then there's gonna be a bit more going on. But this area is pretty much the same as it was in regular game, except, obviously, these guys hit harder. And I think... I'm not entirely sure, but I think in New Game Plus, enemies have more HP, but I also think their defense goes up, which means, in turn, you don't hit them quite as hard as you would. But yeah, oh, it's kind of strange the way they handle it. You'd think they'd either do the defense, or they do the HP and not both, but I'm pretty sure they do both. Now, the other good thing about New Game Plus is, oh, hey, buddy, these Hay Knights will actually start dropping their gear. Normally, you only get the sword. Now, they're in New Game Plus, you can kill them, and we'll start getting pieces of their, of their armor, and it's pretty damn high as far as drop rate goes. But it kind of should be, because you only get, like, four of these in the game, something like that. And once they're dead, they're dead. There we go. What'd you give me? No leggings! Thanks! Okay, let's grab this booty and then get the hell out of here. Now, I do want to kind of, not rush exactly, but I want to go a little bit quicker than we would be normally, because this section, there's really no point us dawdling here. Like I say, there ain't too much going on here compared to the regular game. So we're just gonna try and take out the Pishura and the Last Giant fairly quickly. We'll hopefully get time to take both of them out in this video. But yeah, I'm also hoping we get to summon someone. Oh, by the way, speaking of extra enemy spawns, you may notice there was two hollow dudes in that room. On regular game, there's only one. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a few extra enemies. Usually, it's not a huge deal, though. There are some sections in the game where they go kind of crazy. The Undead Crypt is one of them. And this... Basically, Red Phantoms are the, the main thing you want to worry about. There we go. Get out of here, you. I don't like you. How the hell did that not hit me? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm okay with that. I didn't want to get set on fire, but... That was very strange. Whatever. Okay. So yeah, so far seems pretty much exactly the same to me besides, again, the item descriptions in this NPC, neither of which I think we've actually got to see yet. Unless Nishandra's description was different. And like I say, I think it was, but just barely. And there she blows, our next bonfire. There's a Sumbro here. Well, we'll worry about that dude later. For now, let's light the bonfire just to make sure we got the checkpoints. Now, do I have any firebombs? I... yes I do, I have one. Oh, we got five of the other ones if we really need them, but let's hope I get this first time. That would make a change. And boom! Yes! Finally. Holy shit. I don't know what it is, that almost always takes me two attempts. It's very strange. Okay, let's rest to get our souls back, our spells back. And yeah, let's see if we can summon these two dudes. Okay, Astral and... Fipelli? Something like that? Looks like we got both of them. It makes me happy. It's also kind of suspicious to me whenever I see two summit signs next to each other. It's usually two dudes trying to help their friend. So yeah, these guys might leave, but we can hope that they stay. Evening, gentlemen. How's it going? Well, he's waving. That's a good start. Praise the sun. <laughs> I love the way you do emotes in Dark Souls, and it's just whatever direction you're facing, so... You end up waving in completely the opposite direction to the person you're waving at. It amuses the crap out of me. I'm easily amused, what do you want from me? 
Okay, so let's not worry about killing anyone else. Let's just get up here and kill the Pashua. I suspect this guy probably ain't gonna last very long. Now, if you summon someone for a boss fight, it makes the boss tougher. I don't know if that's gonna be the case for this guy, because this isn't technically a boss fight. And holy shit, why do you have so much HP? Good god! I A game we're on New Game Plus, so of course he's gonna have more, but like, holy- And that dude is down. Don't be down on me, Fipelli. Oh shit. <laughs> Finally pulled off a goddamn parry. Yeah, this dude seems to have so much HP now, they must have buffed him. Surely. I do not remember him being this tough. Well, whatever, either way, he did. And we got the Ring of Blades, which we don't need. But still, you know, I appreciate the thoughts. Okay, it looks like they... yeah, they're fine. I feel like I'm forgetting something, and I don't remember what the bloody hell it is. Well, screw it, let's just carry on for now. Hey, buddy! Hey! There we go. I don't know how you backstabbed him that quickly, that was, uh... That was very professional, I'm proud of you. Let's grab this booty down here, and this is what I was trying to remember. I knew there was a red phantom around here somewhere. And my brain was like, I don't know where it is, don't ask me. See, there's a dude up there. I hear, think he's got like a whip or something? Or am I imagining that? I know there's a dude with a whip somewhere. Maybe that's not him. But yeah, he kind of reminds me of Oscar. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, shit. Don't worry, I'll save Never mind, I won't save you. You will save me. Oh, he doesn't have a whip. He's got a sword, and he hit me with a backswing. Screw you. Okay, you're not screwing this jump attack. Gotcha. <laughs> that dude got ganked. Okay, so we don't need Pate's white sign soapstone. I I guess we can't really summon him for the last giant now, which means we won't get his armor, but we already got that. So I don't think it matters. I do want to do Pate's quest again. That's something I did in the regular playthrough. The oh god. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> oh hey, need to heal up. Hey, oh yeah, oh good god, this uh teenage mutant teller is kicking the shit out of everybody. So we're gonna which I do believe there should be a red one of them over on the right, so let's get prepared for that. What the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, so I do want to do Pate's quest, but I don't think we have to summon him for the last giant format. I think that's only to get his gear. But we have that anyway. That was real goddamn close. Okay, let's just leave this area right now before we get firebombed. Now some booty up here, I believe this was quite good, like a soul of a proud knight. No life gem and a homeward bone. I swear to god that was a soul consumable. Maybe... I'm really confused. Maybe it wasn't, but I swear it was. I don't know. Okay, let's go in here, and yeah, we should be very close to the last giant, so we are going through this pretty damn quickly. Like I say, we're not going to rush the entire game. We're just going to rush the early game here, because the early game, man, it's... As I mentioned when I got to, I think it was the Dragon Lake Castle. I love everything sort of from Dragon Lake Castle onwards. The early game, I don't hate it. I just think it's nowhere near as interesting as the late game, which... Yeah, it's completely the parallel to how I feel about Dark Souls 1. I feel like all the way up to and including Ornstein the Small, awesome. After that, still pretty good, but just nowhere near as good in my opinion. Though it depends if you like challenge more than cool areas and whatnot, because... Good lord, the late game of Dark Souls 1 is way tougher. That's right, praise the sun. Why does nobody ever praise the sun? You're a sun bros. No, this is the wrong emote, man. You're doing the wrong emotes. I'm ashamed of you. Why does this dude... Oh, that god dick. Okay, seriously. Why was that dude out there already? He's supposed to be around the corner. That was strange. Stop, what, stop right into me. You can't go in first, bro. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. Okay, let's go our weapon and crystal magic. God damn, I love that. It's last year, damn. Now, this boss soul is very interesting. This is the only one I've seen. Now, you may remember in the- Oh, hey, buddy! Oh, shit! Okay, we're fine. Seriously, let me through your legs. That's why I always say little ladies. There we go. Good God, we are kicking the shit out of him before anyone's even entered the room. My God. Anyway, 
So in the new game playthrough, I mentioned that this guy looks enraged when he sees us. We know, because you know, it's new game plus, I'm not going to avoid spoilers. We know that that was because we defeated the Giant Lord in the past. The question on everybody's lips was, is this the Giant Lord, or is this just a giant that's pissed off because we killed his king? Well, we're about to find out. This is the only boss soul I've seen from the new patch. Because uh, someone posted like a screenshot from like the preview that they were playing, I don't know, something like that. Okay, so, oh, don't use it. Soul of the surviving giant who is bound below the forest of the giants. The lord of the giants, who have brought rack and ruin to the entire kingdom, was said to have been felled by an unknown warrior. His beating and broken remains were then dragged beneath the stronghold where he was sealed away. Yeah. So that basically is outright telling us this is the giant lord. He was beaten and broken, but he survived, and he was dragged and bound below the castle. Or below the forest, I guess. Oh. The pursuer's soul is exactly the same. That's very disappointing to me. Oh, well, I guess you can't win them all. Because in the original Japanese version, the soul of the pursuer mentioned something about, like, uh, some kind of kingdom, and it was named... I don't remember the name. What the hell? Who are you? Where did you come from? I have no bloody... Ad See you, buddy. <laughs> I don't know where that game came from. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so... Uh, the Pursuer Soul mentioned something about a kingdom and whatnot, blah blah blah. There was nothing about that. You'd think if they were going to amend the item descriptions that they would have at least made it match the Japanese version, but no, apparently not. But yeah, either way, the whole giant lord thing, that's very interesting to me. Now, I know what some people are going to think. They're going to think, well, they've been too clear telling us that it's the giant lord instead of being ambiguous. I kind of get that, but at the same time, you've got to realize... We already know we beat the Giant Lord. Someone playing the game for the first time, they're gonna... Excuse me. They're gonna come here, they're gonna kill the Lost Giants, and then they're gonna read the soul description. And they're gonna be like, oh, okay, so an unknown dude killed the Giant Lord. And it's not until you get to that point in the game where you go to the past and you find out you're the one who killed the Giant Lord that all of the dots are gonna get connected for you. So, I think it's gonna be a really cool revelation for someone who's going through the game the first time. And, you know, it confirms it for the rest of us, but, uh... Excuse me. Okay, sorry about that, I was kind of losing my voice there. But yeah, anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I feel like if it's your first playthrough, it's going to be a very cool revelation when you get to the past and you realize you're the one who's going to kill the Giant Lord, and then it connects the dots that, holy shit, the last giant was the Giant Lord. We've killed the poor bastard twice. Oh no, that's awesome to me. But yeah, like I say, maybe they were a little bit too obvious, but I would much prefer that than them be vague as hell and nothing make any sense. You can't connect the lore together if there's nothing to connect. Holy shit. I don't know why they hit me, but that was scary as hell. Anyway, the reason I'm coming down here is because, for one, we never actually went down here in the regular playthrough, and two, I want to get my hands on the Rebel's Great Shield. Holy crap. Oh, no, no, no! God damn it! <laughs> oh my god. That was brutal. Okay, so note to self, don't do that. That was just a bad idea. I wonder how you're supposed to kill these guys, because I swear to god they nerfed that fire rates. They, they used to be like a freaking machine gun, it was just like boom, 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 boom. Let me hear you say whale. Well. Whale! Well, they never had any break between them shooting, they seemed to, you know, have like a small cooldown after the third shots. There we go. But yeah, I don't know, like, I couldn't get to him before he shot me. And then again, we're a mage, so maybe I should just take advantage of that and actually shoot the guy from a distance, instead of being a moron. But the problem is, they have tons of HP. So, you know, the red iron's gonna cut them up pretty quickly. Okay, that was kinda scary. But anyway, so, I wanna get my hands on the Rebel's Great Shield, because that's Rame Shield, aka the Fume Knights. I wanna see if there's any more lore on that guy. I mean, the lore on him's pretty good already, so I wouldn't surprise me if there isn't. But I just wanna know. And apparently, you can dodge these fireballs. I'll be honest with you, I had no idea. I did not realize they didn't have a shit ton of tracking, because most things in this game have a shit ton of tracking. So apparently it's viable just to dodge them. That's actually kind of awesome. So it doesn't really help you if you're going to melee them. Well, I guess you could, but it'd be... You'd have a lot less time. There we go. And the soul's back. Can we grab this without getting burned to death? Yes, we can. we got a large soul of a proud knights. And what the hell is this? Oh, it's a fire drake stone. Okay, so that allows you to imbue your weapon with fire. We ain't got no interest in that, but you know. If you do, there's one there. Can I just shoot this guy merrily without him moving? I'm okay with this, he's looking at me. Yeah, I, I thought so. Okay, he can shoot up there. 
That's scary. And plunging attack. Why do the plunging attacks never work for me? I don't know what up with that. And by the way, the deal with these dudes, these first two I think pretty much entirely just shoot you with fireballs, but there's a couple more down here. And I think if you're at a distance, they will still shoot you, but they tend to try and melee you. It's very strange. I don't know why the first two don't really melee. It's like their AI's difference. And we got a Flame Quartz Ring plus one, which we don't need. But, you know, whatever. Now, speaking of the melee guys, they should be way easier. The melee don't do that much. Don't get me wrong. They're still dangerous, but shouldn't be anywhere near as bad. And, yeah, let's get Crystal Magic Weapon ready. It's killing time. Now, I believe there's one over on the left. He shouldn't be able to see us from here. There's also one pretty damn close around the right-hand corner. There we go. Let's just shoot him. Oh, my God, you have so much HP. Yeah, they tend to do that tongue attack as well as charge at you like that. They do have a different charge, though, where they'll slide. I feel like the sliding attack is probably going to kick the crap out of you, but I don't think I've ever been hit by it, so... I don't know, but it looks real dangerous. So, hey, buddy. Now the gun actually dodged the tongue for once. <laughs> that sounds dirty. Oh, yeah. That attack right there. Never been hit by that. Don't want to be. Probably really, really hurts. Okay, just da -da 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 stand still. Okay, there we go. Get you. Gotta love that spin attack. Okay, so I see two items. I think this one is the Rebel Great Shield. Yes, it is. Okay, we're checking out a second very quickly. Let's go grab this, because I do believe this is the last thing down here. What are you? Correct Red Eye Orb. Cool. Okay, let's check out this thing. Like I said, I expect it's probably not going to be much different, if at all. Reim and Velstat were known as the left and right hand arms of the king until their wills clashed and Reim was deemed a traitor. The Black Raven is despised as an augur of death, but it was Reim's favorite bird. Yeah, I think that's what it said originally. Either way, it's very cool because... Again, I never actually even read that item description until I'd killed the few knights. And then you get his gear and you find out it's called Rame's gear. I didn't know who he was supposed to be. So that's why reading item descriptions is very cool because, you know, you when you get to the few knights and then you get the revelation that it's actually Rame. Again, kind of like the last giant with the giant lord, it connects all of the dots. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it was appreciated. I'll see you next time for more Dark Souls 2.